Welcome back. Just heard some uh, interesting maritime story from this guy. Well, heard only part of it because April fell asleep. Actually, this story sounded more interesting than some of the stories you have to listen to later in the game. <laughs> and which you do have to listen to completely. Anyway, uh, that's a long way off. Those stories aren't that long anyway. Uh, we don't need to really need to hear more stories though. Um, so let's see what he has in the chest. What have you got in that chest? Treasure. What chest? The one you're sitting on. Oh, that be no chest, girl. That be me stool. I me stool carved into the uncanny likeness of a chest. Sure. But what's in it? No priceless treasure, that be for sure. Nothing, nothing at all. It be empty. No, really. What's in the chest? Oh, live snakes. Aye, snakes that'll bite your face off before you have time to jump. Better leave them be, then. I'm still curious about that chest. Right, right. I be telling you, curse the balance, girl. You never give up, do you? Nope. I be having no real treasure in here, like I told ye. But it be where I keep me personal articles and things I be picking up now and then on me travels. And me bed, it's where I be keeping me bed before I be losing him. I be a stupid, stupid old man. He be my best friend. I ain't nobody else around to talk to, you see, on account of him being a talking bird. He lost his talking bird. Could that be the bird we saw at the cop's handler? What happened to your talking bird? I be... he cheated out of him. I, that cop's handler on the marketplace, be cheating me in a full game of cups, and I be having to give me bird up to try to win me money back. And what happened? He be taking me bird when I be choosing the wrong cup. I my best friend taken from me. Cursed to be the balance. It be all lonesome now. The worst part is that me bird is now a prize to be won. A prize in a cup's game. Beat the handler thrice and you win a prize of your choice, me poor bird. What's your bird's name? Bird. Inventive. Oh. Well, I guess that's enough for him uh, from him for now. I'd better get going. Ah, you young'uns who be always running around. Everything be so important. He's been having no time to sit down and take a breath. So go. Be not wasting your time here with me. Trust me, we won't. It's a lighthouse. The blue fire's burning bright, a safe beacon for weary sailors, and a magnet for flowery pros. So it seems. There's a boat over there. Let's walk there. It's a boat. It's a small ship or boat. I don't know the difference. Is there a difference? Well... I'm not sure. Assorted cargo. Despite the fact that I do like sailing. Judging by his ungainly stance, I'd say he's a mariner pining for the sea. He apparently has bad land lags if he's swaying like that. Get it? As opposed to bad sea lags? Uh, Ahoy yeah. there, matey! Pardon? Isn't that how you sailors greet each other? No. W what do you say then? Usually, hello. And if it's sunny, nice day for it. We might even try a how are you today then, if we're feeling adventurous. But never, ever, ahoy. This is valuable information. 
I matey, that it be. <laughs> I like Captain Nebeve. Which is his name. Why aren't you out at sea? Do you see the sail on that barge over there? Yes. Is it flapping? What? Is it flapping? Is the sail flapping in the wind? Um, no. And why is that then? Because... because it's not windy? Bingo. Exactly. Well, can't you just use oars or something? Oh, what an excellent idea. Now, why didn't we think of that? Of course, oars by Jaws stunted left arm. That's it. Is he being sarcastic? Why have we been moored to the dock for a month with our merchandise dropping in value when we could have just rowed our way to Guillen? Are you being sarcastic? Sarcastic? Me? What in Jaws' name makes you think that? Everything. How long's it been since the last wind? Near a month. Ever since that accursed alchemist put some kind of spell on the wind. The Mojal be cursed if I know why. But it's a bloody catastrophe. I've sent some good people of mine up north to deal with him. But not one has returned. Now the A-Reed High Council speak of sending an entire army platoon to sort him out. But I'm afraid that just might piss him off. That happens. When you send uh, army platoons to people, they get pissed off. Who's this alchemist who cast a spell on the wind? I believe his name is Clax. Roper Clax. Lives in a bloody rock somewhere up north beyond Riverwood. Thanks for the chat. Aye. Well, seems that that's uh, all we can talk to him about right now. We have actually uh, been talking to some people now, but just loose shards of information. There's not really a complete picture forming yet. So what we really need is somebody to give us a decent explanation of where we are and what the bloody hell is going on. And it just so happens we know who can give that explanation and it is Vestrum Tobias. After all, he told us to come back to him. Yes, he told us to come back to him after we'd uh, seen the sights and met the people, which we have. Now look, we can take a shortcut to the pier now. If we want, but we're going back to the tower to meet with Tobias. That temple is pretty damn big compared to the other structures we've seen here. Pretty impressive. Well, actually, um, it's not quite time yet, but this explanation from Vestum Tobias is gonna be quite long. And as a result, wouldn't possibly fit in the uh, about one minute we have left for this video. So we'll uh, end this video here and talk to Tobias in the next video.